you are getting very sleepy. <clears throat> my my voice cut out there. But you get the idea. Hello. I am uh, currently in the bathroom and yes the toilet is running. I apologize for that. And also the lighting is going to be doing this because of that. Anyway, um, it's later in the day, later in the night actually, and um, I haven't really done much. I didn't end up getting air in the tires, I don't think, I don't remember if I said that in the last clip or not, but um, yeah, there was like a long line, so I just didn't end up doing it, but, um, but yeah, I think me and my dad might watch some Netflix or something, so yeah, that'll be fun. Hello. Nothing really happened today uh, of vlog importance. I watched uh, a movie with my dad, hung out with him for a little while, ate some food, ate some ice cream. Solid day. But, uh, you know, if I was to leave it at that, this would have been about a minute long vlog, which uh, that's not very fun at all. So I figured today I would take the, this opportunity to spend about 10 minutes talking about my favorite Pokemon, Alakazam. I'm going to talk about Alakazam for 10 minutes. I already said that. Let's move on. Alakazam was my first favorite Pokemon and is still my favorite Pokemon. Alakazam is a very unique Pokemon. He honestly I didn't get to play it, the main in the mainline Pokemon games, that is. I didn't get to use him very often, because in order to get Alakazam, you first had to usually catch an Abra, or I guess you could catch a, a Kadabra. But um, once you get the Kadabra, you have to trade that Kadabra with, you guessed it, a real person, because Alakazam only evolves when you trade him to somebody. And not that I didn't have friends when I was younger, but like, I didn't have a lot of like really close friends, especially close friends that played a bunch of Pokemon or, you know, wanted to trade with me. So, in terms of the mainline games, I never really had an Alakazam to use, even though he was my favorite Pokemon. So that kind of sucked. But, let me talk about now why Alakazam is still my favorite Pokemon, even though I didn't get to use them in the mainline games, you know, gens, one through whatever, I really never had an Alakazam. The reason he's my favorite Pokemon still is because I had a little game called Pokemon Stadium as a kid. And um, Pokemon Stadium, if any of you are aware of what it is, it's basically a, like a, I guess kind of like a battle simulator. It, it basically takes Pokemon and reduces it down to just, uh, you know, battles. And there's mini games also that are really fun, but for the most part, it's the main appeal to it is the battles. And, um, you know, all in the original Pokemon Stadium, all 151 Pokemon, I think, are available to use. Mew might not be available to use, I'm not sure. But for the most part, all 151 original Pokemon are available to use, and, um, you know, there's there's good Pokemon and bad Pokemon, but the one Pokemon that I consistently, or that I realized, ver even at a very young age, when I didn't know anything competitive about Pokemon other than use attack that does damage, it do good, you know, electricity do good against water, that sort of stuff. Um, the one thing that I realized was Alakazam uh, was, like, overpowered as fuck. Maybe not overpowered, but he was a really strong Pokemon. And also, his attack, Psybeam, I think it was Psybeam. I'm pretty, I'm like, positive it was Psybeam. Looks awesome. Look up the animation of Psybeam in Pokemon Stadium. That move is so beautiful. <laughs> but anyway, um... So he had a really cool attack. His main attack was Psybeam, which looked really cool. 
And when he would attack, he would like hold out his arms like this. And he would grab two. I wish I had two spoons to show you, but <laughs> okay. He would hold out his arms like this, right? And he would like like hold out his spoons, and they would bend, and the side beam would like go out of his. Ch it was awesome. Anyway, so that was like his main move animation, right? Pokemon Stadium was awesome. Like the animations, it's an N64 game from like 2001. The thing looks awesome. The game looks awesome. And, uh, okay, it's a little dated now, but like back then, oh man, Pokemon battles in 3D were just so cool. Um, and uh, so anyway, he was just a really cool Pokemon and he was strong. He was, you know, competitively viable for a kid. Now, I don't know if he's in the top. Pokemon of that game officially or whatever. I don't know what the tier lists are. You know, someone's done the math on all that stuff, but I don't know. All I knew was he seemed really good to me, and I won a few battles with him back in the back in the day. So that's like the beginning of my history with Alan Kazam. Is that you know I played with him in Pokemon Stadium a lot, Pokemon Stadium Two a lot. Even he was still good. Um, and he was a really cool Pokemon. And I think part of the reason why I probably gravitated toward him, even if he wasn't, like, that good, um, or even if I didn't know that he was good, is because part of the reason would be that, like, I didn't get to use him a lot as a kid in the mainline games. Like, you know, Gen 1, Gen 3. My, my Pokemon games, like, early on that I have the most vivid memories of are gens or is basically gen 3 being uh, you know Hoenn and then the fire red and leaf green remakes um, those are the games that I like really first started on I was too young to really hit uh, you know blue and red like the the OG ones you know but um, and Gen 2 I, I, I also played, but I didn't really have that much attach, attachment to it. But like Gen 3 came out in like 2004, so I was like 5 years old, which is like the start of everybody's Pokemon, you know, journey aside from Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Snap. Those were probably my first Pokemon games, so I didn't even know what I was doing. But anyway, so I, was, I would play those games and uh, Gen 4 in 2006, 2007. Um, Gen 4 is like my favorite gen and the one I have the fondest memories of. But anyway, back to my point. The reason I think that I have that I was so interested in, in Alakazam is because I could never get him in the games. Like I never had a friend that I would that would like trade me a Kadabra or whatever. So um and it was hard to catch an Abra to begin with. Like it was it was an ordeal. If you wanted an Alakazam on your team, it was an ordeal. Um, so I, you know, I'm curious if other people have um, like similar experiences with Alakazam or any Pokemon really. If there's a Pokemon out there that you like that, um, you know, is uh, was like difficult to obtain, and you part of the reason why you like it. Excuse me is because, like, you could never, like, get it, like, you knew it existed, and you would, like, fight it in, like, gym battles or whatever, but you could never catch one of your own. That was me with Alakazam, and the only time I could use him was in Stadium, and I would just, you know, wreck everybody in Stadium with it. So, you know, he's a really cool Pokemon, and uh, one that I really enjoy using. And I also think, you know, his... Uh, part of it also, I think, is Sabrina had an Alakazam from the uh, the anime, right? I, I'm I'm positive she did, and um, I really liked Sabrina and that whole like her her psychic gem and stuff back when I would watch the anime as a kid. So that that also had to do with it. There's just so many cool things with Alakazam, you know, like cool like um, things that he's in and a part of, and I think he has a really cool design also. I, I've pulled up a picture here on my computer, and he's just a really interestingly designed Pokemon. He's got, like, this really long mustache, right? Um, and, like, but that's not even, like, the real focus of his design. Like, he's got he, his two, like, signature spoons, and then he's got, like, this really interestingly shaped head. It, it 
His head almost reminds me in a weird way of like a uh, Kabuto or something like that, or Kabutops, I think is what I'm thinking of. But um, no, you know, he's got like these cool, like, it's like a humanoid body, but it, he's really cool. And, um, and I think the, the official lore is that he has an IQ of like over 3,000 or something like that. And it's just like a really interesting story behind this Pokemon that, um, you know, all started probably when I was like three or four years old holding my sister's Nintendo 64 controller trying to play Pokemon for the first time and, uh, you know, stumbling across this Pokemon named Alakazam who I probably saw in the anime and I was like, ooh, let's use this and then I used him and, you know, you see this really cool Psybeam attack and and he, uh, you know, he's just, he's cool, and, uh, you know, and, and, and he was powerful, so I used him, and he, that's how he really became my favorite Pokemon, is, you know, just using them and thinking he was awesome, so, I mean, I guess that's about it. Oh, and he has a Mega Evolution, or at least he did. Did they get rid of Mega Evolutions? I don't think, I think they brought him back in, um in Sword and Shield in the DLC. Maybe I'm wrong about that, but if they didn't, that sucks, because I, I actually kind of enjoyed Mega Mega Evolutions, but anyway. Uh, so that was my ten minutes of talking about Alakazam and why he's my favorite Pokemon. And, um, yeah, again, I don't know why this came to my mind or why I wanted to talk about it, but I was just like, you know what? I'm going to talk about Alakazam. And I did for like 10 minutes, going on 11. So I'm going to take pity on you guys and uh, stop talking about him now. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up, wrap up this vlog now. You know, for the G2 Gatorades, I got these for my dad, but, you know, I drink a few. Um... The G2 Gatorades, I would say that Grape is one of the better ones. Grape and um, Fruit Punch, if you get these, the Grape tastes almost exactly the same as the um, the regular Gatorade with the regular amount of sugar. It's good. But uh, anyway, that's going to be it for this vlog. Um, comment down below if you make it this far what your favorite Pokemon is, and also the story behind why it's your favorite Pokemon. Um, I will say some runner-ups. I, I, I can't list all of the runner-ups. There's so many awesome Pokemon, but um, probably my second favorite Pokemon of all time is Piplup. And there's, I, again, I love so many Pokemon, and I'll probably think of other Pokemon, like Chatot. Chata, I, I don't even know what the correct pronunciation is, but the parrot Pokemon, I have a weird story on why that's my favorite Pokemon. Anyway, but Pi or one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, but Piplup uh, is one of my favorites because I remember as a kid, the, like the first time that I was old enough to see new Pokemon come out uh, was like 2006 when the first commercials for the, uh, you know, Diamond and Pearl came out and were, were airing, and I was just like, oh my god, there's, they're making more? Like, they because, like, I, I never, I didn't, I wasn't into the hype of, um, you know, Hoenn releasing. Hoenn was out, and I was just enjoying it, and I was like, these Pokemon have existed forever. But, like, when Gen 4 came out, it, I remember just feeling this, like, Oh my god, they're like, there's like gonna be like hundreds of new Pokemon, like, that's a thing, they just make more, and like, they, they, like, they, like there's not make more, there's like more to be discovered, and I, I remember seeing this adorable little penguin on, um, on TV, and I was just like, oh my, that's a Pokemon, I can catch that, and I remember telling my dad, and I was like, dad, like, we gotta get these new Pokemon games that... This is a penguin. I was just like, oh man. 
Like that's the kind of stuff that like you you only experience once, but like it's such a cool experience, you know. It's just that 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 childlike realization of, oh my God, like there's there's more, like there's like this new product, and it's like just all these new, uh, you know, Pokemon and and uh, memories to be made. Anyway. I decided to rant for another three minutes as I was, or not rant, but babble on as I was talking about, uh, after I finished talking about Alexander. Anyway, and said I would finish the vlog. That's it. Uh, I'm done talking now. Comment your favorite Pokemon and a story about why it's your favorite Pokemon down below if you make it this far. Uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Alright, bye.